Third time's a charm. Let's see if I can shut the hell up in time for this thing to capture all of it. Because I've been talking two takes now. Two takes now. Where I've been just yammering and then I hear, Bing! You're out of memory, motherfucker! We're, compar we're doing a direct comparison. First off... Hey, look! It's a new brush. Um... I'm going to use it on vehicles. Certain aspects in modeling. It's kind of a hard brush to clean. It retains paints very well um that's a good thing and a bad thing like i said it makes it harder to clean but it'll make it easier to dry brush large things i'm pretty excited to have it because it's got a different kind of grip there it's got a more ergonomic grip and um it's the grip is grippy it's like some sort of polymer that allows me to retain hold much easier on it. That is fantastic. This thing is pretty trippy. I also like the cut. I like the cut of its jib. It allows me to get all sort of angles with the tip there. We'll use that on things like the battle wagon back there. I've already used it partially on the battle wagon. That's why the, the way the turret is the way it is. That's why. Oh, you guys can't really see how fucked up the turret is, but the turret's all jacked off. It's not even put on there. I just threw it on there. Just stacked it. Really. Now. Let's get on to the subject of the video. I've been jamming too long, man. Another comparison video. This is a final. This is the second part of the comparison video. I've actually been really enjoying comparing these. So I'm going to give you uh, post-comparison thoughts the next day. After painting them respectively and then respectively letting them dry in their separate aspects, you can see... The pale saffron here, and you can see the flash gets yellow here. Now, this pale saffron is much more, as you can tell, saffron gold in color. It's very gold yellow. It's got, I didn't really notice that until I stacked it up against this kind of sunflower, tweety bird, sunshine, very yellow yellow. But this is a pretty solid yellow. If you're looking for one yellow to throw around and you're going to use it for undercoat of metallics, maybe some bronzes, maybe some golds, I might go for this as like the first basis yellow because it comes in a, it comes in a start painting kit. It comes with some instruction books. There's a lot of things that this comes with that allows somebody who's new to painting, who's a noob to painting, to, it gives them more maneuverability in certain aspects. But this has more maneuverability in viscosity. This is more maneuverability in, like I'd say, application to metallics, which is handy for me. But this is more, this pops more in a single layer. This, uh, I, I like the pigments more. Uh, it's thicker than the other paint, which is fantastic because it gives me more control on the flash gets yellow to uh, thin it out because I thin all my paints. I thin it in a wet palette and then I, uh, I start painting. And that gives me the painter control the viscosity, which is important because thinning something that this is thinner, way much, much, much thinner, and it can kind of be a shit show when trying to thin it or dry brush with it. So we're just gonna fuck everything up here. Um. I really enjoy the squeeze top on this more because it allows it to tran it allows me to transfer from my uh throw some yellow on here. It allows me to transfer from my uh bottle to my wet palette much easier. With my flash kits here, I have to like do some I have to fuck around with that and I might have to get uh, get a fucking eyedropper. Or I could find a, you know, squeeze tip that fits this thing. And that, you know, I doubt that even exists. <laughs> uh, there's a few downsides to both of them. Like I said, this one's thinner. Uh, much not as yellow of a yellow. We're gonna fuck around with this mucilid spore here that I'm paying for my boy. Paying for my buddy! He doesn't want to paint his nids. I'm gonna do an experimentation with all these nids that I have on deck. I got a couple nids right here. Yeah, gaunt. Gaunt. 
I'm gonna do an experiment and see how much I like painting these nids. And I might paint his fucking nid army for him. So you might see me soon. Just getting hammy on some nids, man. I'm gonna probably be doing it in this color index, which is like yellow, orange, and red. Which is what I'm going for. And uh, it should be barrels of laughs. Where's the, that other one? I did another one. Oh, it's the, it's the back one here. We'll do, we'll do one up front, too. So it's not just the back one. We'll do the, very, we'll do the very front one, yellow. So, like, the individual uh, spines, tentacles, are individual colors. That is one hell of a mold line, guys. God, dog, I gotta figure out something to do about that mold line there. Dog, that mold line! <laughs> Alright. Um, the downsides to this is it wasn't a card shop. The motherfuckers might have been popping this open, looking at it, not closing it all the way, fucking dumping it on the ground. Oh, fuck, fuck if I know what happened to this thing. Same thing goes with this, but this came in a sealed start collecting case that had like plastic wrap and shit on it. I'm fairly certain this wasn't fucked with because they would have had to reseal it. So, I'm not, it doesn't exclude it from happening, just makes it much, much, much. Less likely that somebody go through that fucking trouble to get a little yellow paint, right? Um, the viscosity is its own upside and downside. I think it is a little bit more viscous than what they would sell me. Uh, if I, say, bought it from freshly, freshly from the factory. But... Uh, that, you know, while sort of being a downside in a certain aspect, it allows, like I said, it allows me a lot of control when I'm thinning my paints. So that's also a massive upside for me because I get so much control while thinning my paints. That is very important. Very important. Overall, what would I, how, how would I go about purchasing these if I had to do it again. Well, if I was as as new as I was when I got this, I'd still buy the start collecting kit that this came with because that came with practice models, brushes, all sorts of shit for me that I needed to know. So if you're a noob, I would go with that start collecting kit that comes with this thing because it, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a great first step to take. That really it's a, it's a great first step to take, and the paints don't need to be thinned on their own. As, uh, you should, but they're not as thick as these, so it's not as bad when you, like a noob, don't thin any of your paints. It's not as catastrophic as it might be. Uh, I think I got all the gold on that guy. Um, now, I want to get more of this Citadel shit, man. I like the yellows. I will be using this in limited aspects, but this is much easier to get my hands on in town, and I like the color more, and it's got more viscosity, and it's better for dry brushing, washing, it, you name it. When you figure out the way to play with paints more, I think you should go with the Citadel as compared to the MSP because this allows you to play with your paints more in many aspects. I've really been enjoying these, and you'll catch probably another one strictly on yellows when I get myself some Vallejo yellow, and uh, then we'll we'll revisit it. We'll revisit these colors, and uh, I'm gonna start purchasing duplicate colors. We'll line up. We'll stack up the greens here soon. I got two kinds of greens. I got Viper green, and I just got light green, and MSP and Vallejo, and we'll we'll stack those up. We'll do a comparison because I've actually this was a lot of fun for me. It's the only reason I'm doing the second one, because I, I enjoyed looking at the paints, I enjoyed gauging the difference, I enjoyed uh, thinking about ways to describe the difference. It was a lot of fun for me. So, you, you'll catch me in more paint comparisons videos. Uh, next one coming up, greens, because what I got. And I also have some Vallejo pigment. So, we'll talk about that, if I don't break all my models with it. Yeah, I hope you guys watch, enjoyed watching this video. I've been John for almost 10 minutes now. I'm going to get the fuck out of here before my shit runs out of batteries. And, and, broom.